Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today I'm going to repair our mainboard ET2750 and the same mainboard as ST2000 if you have one. And this is done by Abby and uh, we're working the lab so there'll be some uh, background noises. Okay, here's Abby. Hey guys, it's Abby here. I'm going to be testing the fuse on this mainboard. It's the F1 fuse or on this, this uh, mainboard. It's called F301 fuse. If it's blown out, it won't power on your printer. It might give you a 031006 error, but when your print head gets bad, it blows out this fuse on your main board. First, just testing it to see if that actually is the cause, but once I test it, it looks that this is a faulty fuse. So I am just putting down a little bit of this flux first to try and help with the heat on the board. And then I'm going to go ahead and put down some tin over top of the fuse. Um, adding a bunch of this tin should help to loosen off that F1 fuse and I'll just rub the soldering iron around with that tin. I'll probably I'll drop some more on it. But yeah, my goal is to try to rub off that F1 fuse, that old F301 fuse with this tin here as it's hot and liquid. And if it's not coming off, then you can drop a bunch of tin on there and then I'll get some copper wire. And here's where I get the copper wire, I believe. Yeah. So the copper wire also helps to release some of that tin that's holding on to the fuse and so there I was just looking to make sure that I got it off and if I need to I can use that copper wire to clean up anything else I put the light on a little bit to see if that helps and see what did I do here now yeah I'm just using the copper wire and the soldering iron to try to clean the board up a little bit and get the rest of that tin off but I do now have that F1 fuse off, so now I need to go ahead and take out a new fuse. We have them in this strip, and at this point, you gotta try to be careful that you don't lose these fuses because they're really small. So I just peel back the tiny little layer and drop out a small fuse, but you'll see, I use tweezers to grab the fuse, and I try to line it back up on the two two little white parts that the fuse will sit on top of but I need to try to line it back up I knocked it off a couple times and it just took me a little while to get it right into the spot where I wanted it to once you get it there then you can take some more tin and you can drop tin down on either side here I was a little bummed <laughs> just because I moved the F1 fuse just a tiny bit off track and I dropped tin down and it will still work it's just a little disappointing because you want it you want it to look as nice as you can but I'll turn it around here I guess I just needed to get a better look for myself as I was putting the fuse back on but I'll turn it around in the microscope so you can see it looks a little it's a little hard to see with all that flux shining on there but I'll go ahead and just make sure that the tin on either side is down and looks nice and then I'll go ahead and test it again to make sure that the fuse is working and giving a proper signal. Alright, that's this part of the video. <laughs> 